Alright guys, as you can see, I am not here. This was very unexpected, so I'm making a video so that you guys can stay on track. Um, if Miss Larson is here and she is awesome, a lot of you know her from last year, but I just want to make sure that you guys were on track um, to make sure we really understand integers. I hope you guys really enjoyed the homework assignment last night. I had a lot of fun watching the video. I hope you guys did too. All right, um, we're starting with our table of contents. And in our table of contents, uh, we're adding pages 19 and 20. And this is going to be understanding integers. Understanding integers is a huge step if we're going to start adding and subtracting them. So please pause here, add this to your table of contents. We are also going to, during our notes today, going to be flipping back to page 17 and adding to our vocab. So just be prepared to do that as well during these uh, during these sets of notes. All right, on page 20, you should title it Understanding Integers. And um, we are, our essential question, and I really should get better about and I really should get better about, sorry, stuff is popping up on my screen, about writing EQ right here. All right, our, ooh, that's a bad E. Hopefully yours looks better. Because this is our essential question. This is what you need to know by the end of the period. And it is, what is an integer and why are they used? What do we use them for? Is this something that you guys are familiar with? Back All right, so pause and look here at that and make sure you have the essential So you'll see that the vocab is entered for you. But now you we're going to need to draw in an example. So for negative numbers, I would like you to draw this part of the number line, all right, in that space that's provided, negative numbers, and draw that arrow. I even wrote left of zero, numbers used to represent values less than zero. I wrote left of zero on my example. Then positive numbers. You're going to, uh, I can maybe erase that line, but you know it would take me forever. You're going to draw this part of the number line and draw that arrow. So underneath the examples for vocab, you're going to do positive and the numbers right of zero. So add those two examples to your vocab where it says examples. And then the next one we're going to talk about is opposite. So these are two numbers that are the same distance from zero on a number line but on opposite sides of zero so with that uh, we are going to i'm going to actually erase these lines because something else is going to pop up the example we're going to use is three and negative three they are opposites because they are the same distance away from zero they are the same distance away from zero but on opposite sides of zero so if i counted over one two three one, uh, integers, two, three. And you guys actually right, learned that's a lot why about those integers in that video. Are opposite. So, so what I'd like you to do is give an notes. example of an integer. The next and one that's going to ask for an example, example of is a non-example. So what is not an integer? So a set of all positive whole numbers, they're opposites and zero. Notice how zero is not um, a positive or negative number. That's going to be key. So give your examples and non-examples, and then check with a neighbor and see if you guys gave the same. I should see about three examples of an integers, of an integer, and three non-examples of an integer. So these are just some tips, good to know. Integers are used in everyday situations. Uh, positive integers are usually associated with gains, increases, and deposits, and that's talking money. And negative integers are associated with losses, decreases, and withdrawals. Negative integers are also used to describe something that is below sea level, while positive integers describe something above sea level. So we use them to describe a distance a lot of the time. Uh, the last one that we're looking at is absolute value. An absolute value is represented with this symbol. Oh, this is going to look awful. I'm sorry. And it's two bars just like this with a number in between. I would also like you to write the words in the definition that say always... Oh, this is going to look so bad. Always positive. So next, underneath the definition, you're going to write the words always positive. I've almost got it. It's really hard to write with a mouse. Okay, always positive. And then it shows you a number line. So uh, the example for this is negative 3. The absolute value or the distance away it is from 0 is 3. Think about it. We can never have a negative distance. Even if you walked backwards, you are still walking a positive amount. So on your number line, I'd like you to put a negative 3 
and then I'd like you to show the distance it is away from zero and show that it's three units away from zero. We are going to flip now to page 20. For this, you're going to need four number lines, which I've provided for you. One red marker, colored pencil, or crayon, and one blue marker, colored pencil, or crayon. You need one of each, so make sure you stare, because I probably don't have enough. All right, and I've given you the four graphs for you to follow along, so they'll, they'll be taped in right underneath your essential question. So find and graph the opposite of each integer. That's the A. And we're going to find and graph the opposite of 2. So you're going to graph 2, and you're going to show that it's 2 units away from 0. And then you're going to graph um, the opposite. So you'll find negative 2, and you'll show that that's also 2 units away. This is exactly what I like your uh, number line to represent. And then you're going to even write that the opposite of 2 is negative 2. Then we're going to do the same thing for 6. I'd like you to pause here and try and make it on your own and then check your work. If you're really not sure since you're using a marker or a pen, you're welcome to uh, follow along. But please pause and try it on your own. So you should have 6 units. You should have drawn your mark here at 6. And then to show that it, the opposite of it, you're sh showing 6 units the other way and in the other color. Notice red is our negative. The examples are going to be absolute value. Two. Absolute Blue value of negative is four. See, there's a better positive. example of those bars drawn. You're going to use the same number line and you are going to show a negative four and you're going to show that it's four units away from zero. You can do those like little scoop things or you can just show an arrow. And you're showing that it's four units away from zero. So the absolute value of negative four is a positive four. It's equal to four. Then we're going to do the absolute value of three. So again, pause here so that you can graph. I'd love to see an actual point. I noticed that it's not on this one. But I actually would love to see an actual point of where negative four is on the number line, just so I can see that you know. Um, so then you have three. So absolute value of three. And it's three units away from zero. So uh, you're going to say the next part you're going to do is going to be example two. two and this, I just, I'll show you exactly what I want you to write. So we're going to look at Death Valley, California. And Death Valley, California is 282 feet below sea level. So uh, our key word here is the word below, which is going to represent a negative number. What I'd like you to do is write Death Valley, California, and show the two the negative 282. So I will underline exactly what I want you to have in your notes. So you're going to have Death Valley, California, and you're going to have negative 282, and then also this highlighted word below. The next one I'd like to see for B is the stock market gained five points yesterday. So see if you can figure out what the keyword in that is, besides the five. So you should have got that it was gained. Um, and so that would be a positive. You can put the plus there. Ooh. You can put the plus there, or you can just write 5. So I'd like to see stock market, and then the positive 5, and the highlighted word gained. The next one is Patrice withdrew $15 from her savings account. All right, we have the word withdrew. Withdrew means to take out. So you should show a negative number and you should example, have I'd like um, um, you to actually put this with the very bottom negative 15. this isn't really your third example right. but I would I like to have this number at the very bottom 15. of your page this is a huge Our thing that people get really confused about because it messes with our head so on a number line we have negative 5 um, to 5 and I'd like you to draw this number line smallest to largest if someone sees a negative 8 right here, they often tell me that that's larger because 8 is larger than 5. But if we look at this number line, negative 8 is actually smaller than negative 5 because it goes from smallest to largest. All right, so this should be the very bottom of your notes so that we can do one last set of examples. This set of examples is using the less than or greater than sign, and you are going to do that for each of these. So you have negative 4, blank, 0. So it's negative 4 less than or greater than 0. And it is less than. 
really, I just need to see you draw this symbol. Don't worry about drawing all this. Please do not draw all that. The next one is negative 3 is less than or greater than negative 5. Okay, negative 3 is greater than, so I should see a greater than on your notes, than negative 5 because it is closer to 0 than negative 5 is. And the last one is negative 6 is less than or greater than 7. Well, negative 6 is a negative, positive 7 is a positive, so that is definitely less than. So this is going to conclude everything that is on page 20. Everything should have fit on this page. Remember, we don't want to go over a page. So what's uh, going to happen now is you guys are going to do an explore. So you're going to complete this on page 19. I have a handout. You are looking at the lowest recorded temperatures, and it's going to walk you through step by step what you need to know. Please make sure to tape the explore in, in before you begin working and use the extra sheet, extra space on the page to show work. Um, show work slash answers uh, you guys will you probably have 10 to do a pre-assessment so this pre-assessment we were supposed to do yesterday is just to show me what you guys know and don't know um, about our next unit and I actually use this for something called my goals so I want to make sure that I'm teaching you the best way possible and this information is going to help me do that so do this I'm going to have Miss Larson walk you through this process and when you finish with you guys get to start your homework woo it looks like a lot, but there's a lot of evenness there, and it's a lot of what we just did in class. So um, I'm sorry I don't get to see you guys today, but I will see you either Wednesday or Thursday and Friday. All right, guys, have fun. Here are some exit problems if you really are an overachiever and finished everything, but don't worry about it. Okay, bye. Oh, answers. Awkward.